everyone, welcome. My name is Jay Pestridge. Welcome to another P3D video. And today I'm going to show you how to get the Aerosoft A330 into version 6. I'm running the Professional Plus version 6, and I have the Aerosoft Airbus in here um, installed and absolutely uh, working fine. And I'm also going to show you how to be able to get the light ups here from the. Uh, the, the buttons here. Um, the installation isn't the same as uh, the other installations I've shown you. It's a little bit trickier, um, and it's uh, it, it, but it will work, you know. So basically, all it uh, is a case of is running the installer as normal. Now, obviously, you shouldn't be doing this while you're in the sim, and it's going to get to a point. And I'm not sure if it'll actually do it here because I'm running the sim, but. It'll get you into a point where it's going to ask you where do you want the installation to be installed. And luckily we get to choose that location. So basically you obviously want to choose the prepared version 6 add-ons. Okay. And obviously it's going to install it. Now this is the main issue here. Uh, where it says Lockheed Martin, because this is a version 5 installer. So this the installer is set by default to version 5 so what it's going to do is it's actually going to not through this installation because it's going to install it in the location where I've told it to install which is in the version 6 add-ons location but once you then run the plane it's gonna ins have things installed into your sim folder which if it goes into version 5 there are certain things that are not going to be able to write to that folder because it's in version 5 so what we need to do is once you've run the installation into version 6, just concur that it is actually in version 6, okay, by heading into the add-ons folder and just double checking that your Pro 5 version is there. That's good. Then go to where your version 6 is installed and obviously this can be anywhere. Uh, mine is on my C drive in the default location. Just take the address up here and control C it to copy that information. You're going to need it. So what um, Aerosoft do is when they run their installers is they actually have their own little hidden away in WoW 6342 node own installation section here, right? Um, which as you can see is already got a default version 6 and uh, version 5. And if you've got any other installations in there, it'll say that as well. But um, basically, look for your A330 Professional, okay? And what you want to do is where it says FS Path, you want to change this to version 6, okay? This is the crucial thing. This is what's going to make it work. Um, obviously, the subcategory, if you want, you can change that to version 6 if you want. But this is the crucial one, FS Path. Because if we go into our simulator uh, pathway, uh, there are files that are actually written in there um, or are a part rather of your installation from Aerosoft okay um, from when you start setting up your plane plus in your actual um, where your plane is installed to in the document section for version uh, 6 in the uh, 330 there is a section here like configurator this needs to know where it's going to be installed so when you run it it's actually picking up correctly and you I really recommend going through this as well and back up your current settings so it remembers them um, but that is basically the, the the smoking gun right there the FS path making sure that it says version 6 across the board and then you will load up here and it will actually work fine and it actually works fine with GSX and it will work exactly as it did in version 5 or in version 4 whichever one you had it in the PBR on the exterior is already done and is acceptable for version 6 it might not be super duper but it is acceptable now unfortunately if we go in the flight deck obviously it does look a little bit dark here um, which you can help out with the lighting once you've uh, started your your plane up but um, unfortunately, the, the lighting in here and some of the buttons up here is not set for version 6, unfortunately. Now, this is the stinger. What you're going to need to do is you're going to need to 
First off, head into where your uh, Airbus is installed in version 6 in the sim objects folder and you're going to need to download model converter x now i have put this uh, application in my discord but just google it and get the latest it's like 150 i think version and install that and uh, once you've installed it open up the a33rr professional folder head into the model folder and there is a virtual cockpit 4k pbr for version 4 if you open that in model converter x you can actually activate the lighting here to show up on all of these switches with the simple flick of a switch it's not like uh, the legit way of doing it it's not really recommended either um, but it will work um, so once the model has loaded inside here which you know, depending on the speed of your CPU, might either take a while or might take seconds. But once it's fully loaded, uh, you'll know because the model actually appear here in this blue window. Duh, done. Head into this material editor here and look for the VC Anlit A file. And you will see here that the PBR material is turned to true. Just click F to turn it from true to false. Um, and you can even, if you want, delete whatever line is here, which will be an Anlit M something or other. Um, but turn off the PBR basically for this and then save it. Just export object and save it as the name here. And when you do, you will see the buttons in the flight deck here. Now, obviously, again, there will be a video coming out where I talk about how to properly PBR the virtual flight deck because... You know, it's a little bit dark in here, but in all honesty, it is a little bit dark anyway because the sun isn't actually shining in here properly. We've only got a little bit of sunlight here, which is showing on these displays. But, um, you know, once you turn everything on, so once we get our APU running, which I think we need to turn on. Obviously, once your APU is available and turned on and then everything else lights up in here and uh, I believe the flight deck lighting can actually be set as well the parking brake on. And that's basically about it. Once you've installed it, it will work and operate as intended. Um, I don't know how to fly this plane, to be honest, so setting it up, I'm not even sure I've done correctly. But um, yeah, everything will work and I'll do a separate video for the um, operation of the PBR inside the flight deck to give it a little bit of a brighter finish but at the end of the day this is what it is because uh well the sun ain't shining in really it's uh it's an ac accurately lit probably flight deck in all, all honesty but um yeah anyway guys thank you so much for watching this video don't forget i do a giveaway every month of the year um 50 euros of sim market vouchers all you have to be with them with a chance to win is be a subscriber to my channel and leave a comment down in any one of my P3 videos. And uh, at the end of the month, I go live with a vlog to announce the winner. If you've got any comments about this, please drop them down below. Jump in my Discord. Their link down is below. And I shall see you guys in the virtual skies if I ever get this thing working. Like, if I ever learn how to fly this plane. <laughs> like, I did used to know how to fly it once, but it's been a while. So I need to relearn. Anyway, guys. Thank you so much, and I shall see you again. Bye-bye.